Dear colleagues, I am Tamás Solymosi from Hungary. I will present some case studies in this section of the pre-course activity. But first I will talk about the basic settings of an ultrasound equipment. There are five important tasks to be done before starting with the thyroid ultrasound examination. Most of them should be checked and according to the actual patient must be set appropriately. Equipment differs how to perform these tests, so you have to ask a colleague familiar with the handling of a machine. The first is to choose the small parts or thyroid from preset menu. The second is the appropriate settings of the echogenicity. Essentially, it means that the darkest part of the strap muscle running ventral to the thyroid should not be anechoic, that is, not without echosignal, but the vessels should be on the border between anechoic and very hypoechoic. There is quite a little difference between these two structures in echogenicity. With high end equipments, working with high frequency probes, 15 MHz or above, usually we should deteriorate the factory settings for an average patient. These settings can also be made once using the gain button. The three additional settings should be checked for each patient. These are the depth, the focus and the resolution or frequency. It takes a few seconds to set them up. The purpose of adjusting the depth is to make visible the part of around 10 mm located dorsal to the thyroid gland. This is the only way we will have a chance to find an enlarged parathyroid gland and not to overlook nodules in large goiters. Ultrasound differ regarding the adjustment of focus, but we can go wrong if we set it to the deepest part of the thyroid lobe. In such a case, the structures ventral to the set point are well represented. The last thing is to choose the adequate frequency. There is a well-known relation between frequency, resolution and visibility. In other words, permeability of ultrasound wave. Higher the frequency and therefore better the resolution, lower the penetrance and vice versa. It means that especially in the case of high frequency, that is high resolution transducers, we must take into account that the visibility deteriorates due to poorer penetration towards the more dorsal structures. The easiest and fastest way to set depth, focus and the adequate frequency is after a quick scan of both lobes searching and checking the most dorsal part of the thyroid. A wrong adjustment can either lead to a wrong nodule diagnosis or, on the contrary, to overlook slightly less echogenic nodules. We should check whether lowering the frequency makes significantly better the visibility of the dorsal part of a lobe. Occasionally, we can examine the ventral and dorsal parts with different frequencies, with higher the ventral and with lower the dorsal parts. It is worth make these settings at the very first occasion when we use an equipment and thereafter to store as a unique preset. All equipment allows us to store individual settings which can be saved with an appropriate name. If more colleagues use the same ultrasound, it is highly advised to use the name of the different investigators. After 10 to 20 examinations and any time later, it is worth making fine-tuning and store those settings which apply to an average patient. This technique can save us time. One more practical aspect. Using the same settings for as much as possible patients will allow us to recognize minor changes in the echogenicity. Because we can learn how a normal thyroid parenchyma looks like. If we use different settings by applying the gain button, subtle differences in the echogenicity are more difficult to recognize. Let's see some examples. First, the left nodule. In the upper image, 
the depth is not okay because we cannot see the dorsal part of the lobe. By increasing the depth, the dorsal parts became visible in the cases. The same technique made the dorsal part of the nodule in the right case visible. In addition to, the focus has been also changed, set instead of the ventral to the more dorsal part of the nodule. It is worth comparing the presentations of the nodule with the wrong and with the right settings. This case demonstrates the importance of the adequate frequency. In the left upper image, the frequency was too high, or in other words, we choose the best resolution. By lowering the frequency, that is, choosing better penetrance at the cost of worse resolution, made the details of the nodule better to judge. In the lower images, the same changes in settings led to the same consequence. Let's analyze the left nodule. In the upper image, neither the depth nor the frequency was appropriate, therefore the dorsal parts of the nodule were impossible to judge. After correcting the settings, the situation became much better. So far in the presentation, I have dealt with the problem of large nodules. At the same time, if the settings are optimized for an average tirade size, it may be necessary to change them in individual cases, even in the case of a smaller thyroid gland. This was the case in the event of the right nodule. Decreasing the depth resulted in an enlarged view of the nodule. Now I will present a video which demonstrates the importance of adequate settings. It is worth comparing the influence of the settings on the ultrasound presentation. First, we choose better resolution and the focus was set to 22 mm. The ventral half of the lobe, including the calcified focus, was more judgmental than the dorsal parts. To set the focus more dorsal, improve the quality of the dorsal parts, while the ventral areas remain almost unchanged. On the third occasion, we change the setting from better resolution to better penetrance, while the harmony of the image deteriorated, the dorsal parts thus became truly perceptible. Thank you very much for your attention.